Um, we've got a set of our graduates uh, from previous years who have come back to do a talk to our current students. So the graduates who are working in various companies throughout the UK uh, in uh, the computer games industry. We're coming in to talk about our experience before, during and after university and um, it actually out in the field, which obviously most of the people here, unless they've done a gap year, won't have any experience of and um, sort of dispel some of the myths and give, you know, um, give a bit of background about ourselves and answer any questions that um, anyone's got. Probably more about how or what to do after graduation because after graduation I, I like many graduates, was just completely didn't know where to go, didn't know where to look. Um, so I'm sort of hoping to be able to sort of give people a bit of advice to get them a bit of a heads up and a bit of a leg up over the competition because there's a lot of competition out there. So basically every bit of advice helps and goes a long way. The technical background's definitely going to help, but it doesn't need to be the job that you do. So I think that's kind of something that you don't really get much of an understanding from at university, no matter what course you do. It doesn't have to be exclusively the job that you do at the end of it. You've got to keep an open mind about the, the state of the industry. Um, You've, you've got to put yourself forward professionally, that's that's very important. Um, a lot of people see games as being a fun, uh, not very serious industry, but it, it really is a highly professional environment. I had very, very little programming experience when I came to university. It was kind of like a speculative effort. So I was just sort of absorbing as much knowledge as I could and trying to find my feet and find out what I was good at, what I was interested in. Um, but then towards the end of the, towards the final year, that's when you start to think, right, okay, how am I actually going to you know, take what I've got and try and get a job from it? If there was a games event like a Develop or Eurogamer or Gamesgrad, I went. I went, I met people that I probably wouldn't have been able to get a job there normally. Um, I basically went and met people, got email addresses, got business cards, got myself out there and got myself noticed. Um, got a lot of advice, which pretty much got me to where I am today. I guess just a natural ability to take on problems and solve them. Um, I think problem solving is a massive element of what we do. Um, pretty much day to day you have a problem, you need to solve it. Whether it's just a bug or whether it's a feature you need to do, you need to figure out how to do it the best way. Um, and I think I'm pretty good at that. I think that rather than you know actual programming experience, it's that sort of mindset that you know got me where I am now. A good CV helps, not a general CV. If it means having to have five or six CVs tailored to different jobs, sending five emails to the same company with your name on them, fine. But general CVs and generic CVs probably aren't the best way of selling yourself because they're going to appeal to nobody in particular. When I, I, the map, I was counting about people that I've met, every single one of them said that know the company before you apply there. Because if one of the first questions you're going to be asked is, what do you know about us? And if you don't know, pretty much lost it on the first question really. <laughs> if you get interviewed for a job, well, turn up smart but not in a suit, so your, your smart jeans and a, an open neck shirt. Um, talk confidently, make sure you know about the company that you're going to, make sure you get it right, make sure you know what the company is doing because otherwise you might get stuffed into a job you don't want. Graduates I'd say definitely a sort of enthusiasm and a passion for learning on the job because you know you're a graduate and employers respect that they don't expect you to know everything you can't know everything but um, the main thing that they're looking for is someone who will take all the challenges that they're given and become better and better and better and uh, be you know more than the sum of their education because I mean working in this industry is academic knowledge and experience you can't teach people experience so you have to get somebody who's you know really eager to get that experience there is a lot of learning on the job um, for I probably like most of the people from my year who graduated for you've learned that's it you go in you use what you've learned and carried on but it's not that at all. I spend more time researching different techniques and more time doing anything before I even start programming. Uh, it's really great seeing them back and seeing that they've managed to do so well in the industry and in particular that they're enjoying it. Um, uh, it's just great helping people uh, get their, uh, realise their dreams. It's a good degree. Um, I think when we've got four 
four graduates from this degree at our um, at where I work. Um, so the, you know the quality of the knowledge that you get is good, um, but also sort of like the just the environment. You know the fact that you have dedicated um, areas, dedicated um, courses for games. It's it's great. You get a lot of software engineers coming in to um, uh, work in the games industry, but it's actually really good if you can you know get a games based um, uh, you know education. It does help because you're learning about the things you're going to end up using. Um, you know, a lot of what I was taught I do on a day to day basis. A lot I don't because you know I don't work in those areas, but you do. You know, you do learn a lot that you will use day to day in this degree, definitely. I'd probably say the fact that it's a software development and games course, because the course isn't just a games programming course like some universities, it's software development and games, so it gives you more of a broad overview of the entire games process, rather than just a fixed view. Absolutely, it shows that the uh, course uh, has um, a good record of getting people into the industry and the sort of exciting things that you can get to do. Um, after all, these people are going out and living the dream of uh, uh, exactly ex what they wanted to do in terms of an exciting and interesting career. I think I'd like to move more into production. I think coming from the technical background, I've been able to work with artists on my own job for the past three years. It's kind of lent myself to understanding more about kind of like a everything that goes on around uh, around a studio and I think I'd be I think I'd be looking more into the production side dev managers kind of planning assets deliverables things like that but the games backgrounds the games degrees definitely helps it's a really interesting degree however you've got to be aware that it's hard work uh, you've got to be interested in programming and you've got to have a degree of maths experience and um, aptitude as well and let's say reconcile yourself to three years hard work <laughs>